said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Jesus Christ, and that's what it's all about. Those joining by television, praise God, you need to get your Bible out, wipe the dust off of it, and let's get ready to have church. And you may want to call a friend or a relative and just tell them to tune in. That could be your ministry by telling them to tune in because they may get saved. They may learn something today that they don't know about Jesus. He shed his blood for you. He shed his blood for me. And this ministry is de dedicated to spreading the gospel around the world, telling people that they must repent, they must be born again, because you're not going to inherit eternal life with Christ unless you are born again. But I want everybody to put your hands together, make welcome Brother Jack Dove as he sings for the glory of the Lord. Brother Jack. When I think of myself 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Brother Jack Dove singing for the glory of the Lord. And you know, the cross is what it's all about. The blood of Jesus. And you know, you don't hear about the blood. People don't preach about the blood. And they don't sing about the blood. They're trying to take the blood out of the songbooks. They're trying to take the crosses off of everything in America. But uh, you know, we few Christians, and, uh, and the Bible said it's going to be few that make it in. Uh, straight is the gate and narrow is the way and few that enter therein there's only going to be a few people that are truly born again and i want to say this to every person watching today if your sins are not covered by the blood of the lamb if you've not repented and been born again you're not going to make it going to church doesn't do it and pastors and preachers and i'm not talking about the press pastors and preachers that are called by god anointed by god and are preaching the truth i'm not talking to you I'm talking about the self-appointed pastors and preachers that are out there spreading garbage in the name of the Lord and plant, thinking that they're leading everybody to Christ and that they're going to make it themselves. They're not. You have to be born again. You have to become a new creature in Christ. There is a man in the Bible, there are a couple of men that I want to talk about this morning or this afternoon, this evening, whatever time it is. I don't know what time you're watching. Uh, but anyway, uh, turn to Mark chapter 1. The Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1. And I want to talk about two different men in the Bible. And uh, I want us to look at our lives and see if we fit in either, either one of these categories. Uh, one, in, in chapter 1, verse 2. Uh, well, let's read verse 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. It says, the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sin. You know, this you don't hear about anymore. Very few Pre people are preaching repentance for the remission of sin. They're not talking about repentance, and they're, they're not talking about heaven. They're not talking about hell. They're not, they're not preaching these, the, the truth of the Word of God. Now, John the Baptist came into town preaching the Word of God. Now, he and Jesus were born very close together. They were only a few months apart, but yet they didn't spend time as cousins uh, growing up together and playing together. John the Baptist went his way. Jesus went his way. And, and, and the thing about it is God called John to, to be the entrance to Jesus Christ, to come and forewarn people that they needed to repent and come out from their sins. And, you know, Jesus commissioned his disciples to go do the same thing. He preached, uh, go and repent for the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God is at hand. And he said, go preach that. Heal the sick, raise the dead. He told them to go do those things. And he said, if the people receive you, stay there and minister to them. But if they receive not the word of God, shake the dust from your feet as you leave the city. And it's going to be easier for Sodom and Gomorrah to enter into heaven than that city. And church, that's a serious thing. It's a serious thing. If you've ever studied the word of God, and I don't want to get started down that road, but praise God, I may have to. If you've ever studied the word of God, let me try to 